Okay, this is my HP server power supply that I have converted over from my RC car charger. As you can see, you will have to solder two banana jacks onto the board to convert it over. Both of this pin and this far outside one are both negative. This one and this inner one are both positive. So you could also put two jacks on this side if you wanted to. Or you could put more on this side. I just left them spaced out. But you will have to short this middle lead right here. As you can see there's five pins right there. see the placement of my short it's on the second pin and on the fourth pin soldered 22 gauge wire in between those as you can see my voltmeter reads zero volts I will plug in the power supply and show you what I'm getting Okay, as you could hear, it is up and running. Fan kicked on. Let's see, HP. This other side where it plugs in, there is a green light here. If you do not do the short, you will not get this green light to turn on, and your power supply will not put out any type of voltage. The fan will run, but will not power. So you have to do the short in order to get 12 volts. So as you can see my leads are in my jacks now. Plugged in the power supply, the voltage is 12.6 volts. This power supply is rated at 725 watts and it puts out 60 amps max. This thing doesn't even budge or sweat or lag or anything. It takes any kind of abuse from my charger. I have a Thunder T6 by 4 320 watt charger. It is a LiPo charger. I charge four four cell 3000 milliamp battery packs on it at one time and this power supply handles it just fine. A similar one from a hobby supply store will cost you about $200 for this size. So save yourself some money and build your own. Takes about five minutes to solder those two on in that jumper. You don't even have to take it apart or anything. And that's it. Thanks for watching.